Although Theodore Roosevelt was not literally born at the American Museum of Natural History, it was an integral part of his upbringing. His father was one of our uh, founding trustees in 1869, and the young Roosevelt not only spent time in our exhibits, but he walked through the halls and went upstairs to the labs, to the collections, and got to know some of the curatorial staff. There was never a day in his life that in some way or another he wasn't corresponding or talking with somebody or thinking up a new project for this museum. When you write like I do conservation history, you're seeing the fireworks go off when Theodore Roosevelt hooks up with the American Museum of Natural History and they really partner together on creating a revolution of natural preservation. TR came into office in 1901 aware of the fact that we in the United States had already lost 50% of our forest cover, that our rivers were choked and dying, that uh, our waters were polluted, and this afflicted him with a deep inner anguish, which manifested itself during his presidency with um, a raft of executive orders and legislation to create wildlife refuges, national forests, national monuments, to such an extent that by the time he left office, he had significantly protected an enormous swath of American country. He felt that in, in wilderness was the preservation of the American soul and that it's what we could do different than the Europeans. They had their Louvre and Westminster Abbey, but in America for Theodore Roosevelt, we had the Tetons, and we had the Mojave Desert and the Grand Canyon, and that he saw these as heirlooms to be passed on to future generations, and thought that with no wilderness, he felt we would become a mercantile capitalist country that uh, lost our romantic heart and our true frontier soul. Theodore Roosevelt's greatest legacy as president is conservation. His program was comprehensive, it was far-sighted, and just as important, he set the bar in conservation. So presidents ever since have had to measure themselves against Theodore Roosevelt. And we're now at a point where it would be unthinkable for a president not to have an environmental agenda. And we owe that to Theodore Roosevelt. The importance of what I think the museum is trying to do uh, with the Theodore Roosevelt Hall is to take part of American history and make it more accessible. Sometimes people ask me what it's like being a descendant of Theodore Roosevelt. That's not the right question. All Americans are descendants of Theodore Roosevelt. He's part of all Americans. He's not part of one family. He's an American tradition. He's an American leader. Can we accept and carry on his vision and bring it to the next level.